Hello class, Mr. Stone here. Let's see, the lesson for today, it's solving equations, okay? Now, if you remember when we do, did these before, what your goal here is to get the variable, which is x or a or b or whatever, uh, whatever letter they're using, that's the variable on this one here, they're using x, okay? That's usually their favorite one, x and y, okay? So it's to get that alone. So you have to get rid of everything else on that side of the equation, okay? You have to, if you got an x on both sides of the equation, you gotta get both on the same side of the equation and then get it all by itself, okay? So hey, let's go through this and I'll show you how. Okay, so what we have here, the first problem, it's x plus 5 equals 12. Okay, so really on one side of the equation, you got the x plus 5. So you got to get rid of the 5 because you want to get the x all by itself. Okay, so you do the inverse of whatever it is, and now this is a plus 5. So what you want to do is, what's the inverse of plus 5? It's minus 5. Okay, it's a negative. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to subtract... 5 from both sides. So we subtract 5 from that side. And what we do to one side, we got to do to the other side. That's the way the laws work, okay? Those are the rules, okay? So let's see how this works, okay? So now the x will carry itself down, okay? We didn't do nothing to that. So the x comes down to here. Now, the positive 5 and the negative 5. What's plus 5 and minus 5? It's going to be 0. So these both kind of cross each other out. Okay, so they're gone. So we get x by itself. So now we can carry the equal sign down. Okay, so we get x equals, now, 12 minus 5. That's going to be 7. Okay, so x equals 7. And that's it. Okay, so let's square off 7. x equals 7. That's our answer. So the teacher will know, hey, my answer is 7. Okay, hey, let's go on to the next one. Now we got 3x plus 2 equals 23, okay? The first thing you want to do, the easiest thing, get rid of the 2, okay? That's all by itself. Let's get rid of that, okay? So what do we get here? We get the a positive 2. What's the inverse of a positive 2? It's a minus 2. So we want to subtract 2 from each side. So what we do to one side, we got to do to the other side. So we minus 2 from this side, okay? We draw the line across. Now the 3x will come down. So we got 3x... Okay, the plus 2 and minus 2, that's going to be 0. So these kind of cancel each other out. They're gone. We can carry the equal sign down. Okay, that can come down. Okay, so we can bring the equals down. Now we've got 23 minus 2. That's going to be 21. 21. Okay, but now we still have the x is by itself. It's 3 times x equals 21. So, hey, what's the opposite of times? Division, okay? That's the opposite. So what we want to do is we want to divide both sides by 3, okay? We divide that side by 3, and what we do to one side, we got to do the other side, okay? So let's see. These two cross each other out. The x comes down, so we carry the x down. x equals, now, 21 divided by 3, 7, and that's the answer, x equals 7. I'll square that off so the teacher knows, hey, my answer is x equals 7. Hey, that was all there was to it. Okay, now, let's see on this next one. It's a little more complicated, okay? We have negative 5, parentheses, x plus 3, in the parentheses, equals 40. Okay, I kind of got to get rid of the parentheses first, okay? So what I have to do here, I have to kind of do the 5 on both of these. Okay, so let's see, negative 5 times x is going to be negative 5x, right? But it agrees with that. And now negative 5 times a positive 3. Negative times a positive. That's the time the negative wins out. So it's going to be a minus. And what's it going to be? 5 times 3 is 15. The equal sign will carry itself down. So we got equals... And the 40 carries itself down. So we get 40. Now, we still have to get the five, the x by itself. So what I do first, I get rid of the 15, okay? So we got a negative 15. What's the opposite of negative 15? A positive 15, okay? So let's write a positive 15 here, okay? 
What we do to one side, though, we got to do to the other side. So we write a positive 15 over here. Okay, we draw the lines. We draw the lines. Let's see. A positive 15 and negative 15. Hey, they cancel each other out. They're going to be zero. Okay, so now, but this gets carried down. So we get a negative 5. X equals, okay, now, what do we get here? We got a 40 plus 15, that's a 60, okay? So that's going to be 60. The equal sign gets carried down, so we get, e oh, I put the equals already, okay? So that's over here. I wrote faster than I thought, okay? So now, this is what we got now. We got negative 5x equals 60, okay? So, hey, we got to get rid of the uh, negative 5, okay? That's negative 5 times x. What's the opposite of that? Division, okay? So we're going to divide both sides by negative 5, okay? Divide that side by negative 5, and what we do to one side, we got to do to the other side, okay? So what happens to these two? They cross each other out. The x can come down, so x equals, we can bring the equal sign down, Okay, now 60 divided by negative 5, negative 12, okay? So my answer is going to be x equals negative 12. I'm going to square that off so the teacher knows, hey, that's my answer, okay? I always like the squaring off the answers or put a circle around, square around. So that kind of draws attention to the teacher looking at the um, what your work is. Because a lot of times, you, I'll just use this bottom one. You got a lot of figures here drawn. And you don't want to not highlight what your answer was because the teacher might look at it and think, oh, they said it was negative 5 and that was wrong. Okay, this way the teacher knows, hey, you got the correct answer. Okay, because you always want to get credit when you, you get the solution right and you're going to have it right. Okay, um, and that's all there is to it. Okay, hopefully you like this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you um, have any mathematical friends or any students in school this will help them, okay? They'll look at this and say, oh, wow, this explains it really good how to do this, okay? Because they're doing this now in school, okay? Thank you very much. Um, give me a, um, I was just going to say give me a thumbs up again, but you already did. And you have a great day now. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.